Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my June layering combos with you guys. So I'm going to be sharing the body care and fragrance mints that I have been pairing with fragrances. So if you are new here and you love all things girly, fragrance talk, self-care talk, go ahead and subscribe because that's pretty much all that I talk about on this channel. And with that said, let's jump right into June's layering combos. So I am filming my layering combos about a week early because I need to pack a lot of these products up and I wanted to talk about them before I send them away with my move. So I have a few layering combos here that I'm excited to share with you guys. So the first one, some of these products are already missing because I forgot and I packed away either like the lotion that goes with it or things like that. But if I don't have the product physically here, I will be popping a picture on the screen so that you guys know what I'm talking about but I am going to start off with the first layering combo that I have been doing a lot during the daytime and that is Glossier's U which is just a very to me it's peppery I pick up like a peppery side to this sparkling clean fresh scent and this has been getting love there's a pretty big dent going on I like wearing this a lot like when I come back from my walk in the morning and I shower I like to throw this on along with Bath and Body Works Kaleidoscope lotion so I don't have Kaleidoscope fragrance mist I missed out on that but I did pick up a body cream a couple years back and I'm already starting to run out of it but that is the perfect perfect thing to pair with this fragrance so if you have kaleidoscope and you have glossy au they are a match made in heaven they're pretty much dupes for each other they smell almost identical to each other so it is a nice way to layer body care with this fragrance now this fragrance is one that some days i absolutely love and then there's other days where i kind of get more of like that peppery side to it so it's not like a favorite but i do think that it's very easy to wear it's one that you can wear every single day it's kind of like a second skin type of scent just makes you smell clean and bright and fresh and put together so that is the first combo so the next combo that i have really really been loving i've been loving this combo and they are also perfect for each other unfortunately this is a victoria's secret fragrance mist i hate sharing these just because those are just so hard to get your hands on like if you didn't pick it up when it was released it's like almost impossible but i still like to share it in case some of you do have it because i know that a lot of you that watch me do shop a lot at victoria's secret and bath and body works so i have been pairing the lena la rose a lot with victoria's secret ruby rose and these go together they are a match made in heaven so i have been pairing the lotion i've been pairing the fragrance mist and the fragrance together and this combo right here will have you smelling so flirty so almost like this is like a romantic kind of scent but it's also very perfect for spring and summer because it does have like that aquatic refreshing juicy side to it so i just sprayed some right here because i was talking about it in a previous video but ruby rose it's almost a dupe as well so this has notes of sparkling raspberry and velvet rose and this is the perfect scent to pair with delina la rose this has raspberry and rose petals and literally what i smell with this fragrance is like pink rose petals that are just dewy and wet and refreshing and just flirty girly that's what i get from this beautiful beautiful scent and it lingers and it lasts a long time but pairing it with this body care right here will make it even more stronger and you will smell for even longer so perfect combo right here next combo you can pick up if you are interested because it is currently being sold at the bath and body works sas sale I always say that wrong, semi-annual sale. And this I picked up because this was just like a no-brainer. I put these together. When I bought this, I already knew that I was going to layer it with this fragrance. I have very, very little left of this fragrance. This is Ralph Lauren's Beyond Romance. I've been showing it so much love. Definitely going to be finishing this up before my move, but I did pair it with Bath & Body Works Cotton Candy Clouds. 
match made in heaven as well if you like to layer fragrances but you like to keep it kind of the same i don't like to change the fragrance up a lot i have kind of gotten creative in the past with certain layering combos but for the most part i kind of stick to like things that smell very similar so that it just adds like a boost to the fragrance it makes it smell stronger it makes you smell nice for longer so these are match made in heaven so cotton candy clouds has notes of spun sugar pink berries and whipped vanilla and this with beyond romance is just perfection because this also has like a cotton candy type of scent to it super sweet super sugary raspberry scent and every single time that i put this perfume on my husband compliments me every time so there are a few fragrances that i put on that he will give me a compliment and this is one of them every time without a fail i'll put it on and he'll be like you smell really really good cotton candy clouds it's so sweet and sugary and it's not something that i would think i would want to smell like because i kind of prefer more like grown type of scents and by grown i don't mean strong or dark scents i just mean cotton candy clouds has kind of like this youthful smell to it kind of juvenile at the same time but it's still fun and girly and it smells really good it makes you smell really really sweet so it definitely smells like cotton candy it's literally cotton candy in a bottle so if you're interested that is still available at the moment i don't know how long it's going to last or how fast it's running out but when i went there was a ton of it so and then here we have this fragrance right here which is dolce and gabbana light blue summer vibes this one i have been using a few times as well i will say this is not one that i'm going like crazy head over heels in love with or anything like that but it is nice to have it's very refreshing really nice i think the peach is getting more and more stronger the longer i have it definitely i'm picking up more peach like the first times that i got it the peach was not as strong but i still did get like a whiff of it it's definitely the light blue DNA for sure. It's woody, it's bright, it's citrusy, but there's that added peach in here. It smells nice. I did put this on and my husband told me, you smell different today. He kind of is getting so good with fragrances without even noticing it. So he was like, you smell different though, like something new. And I'm like, yeah, this is a new fragrance. I have never put it on. That was the first time I put it on. And he rated it like a six out of 10. He said that it was really nice, but it wasn't like mind blowing. So I kind of think I feel the same way about this one. It's nice to have it. It smells really nice, perfect for summer and spring for hot weather. It's like a juicy peach. I do get like a juicy peach out of it but then there's also a woody undertone so if you can guess i paired this one with pretty as a peach from bath and body works and that definitely gave it a more peachy vibe to it my lotion is pretty much done so i'm going to be getting rid of this before i leave but with the peach added onto it definitely adds more peach and it smells really really nice so if you got this one because i know some of you purchased it you told me that you're loving it try pairing it with pretty as a peach if you want to bring out more of that peach note in it thank me later it smells so good with that combo so next up this is another one that you can get at the bath and body works sale i think i should upload this video as soon as i can just so that just in case you guys want to get your hands on these fragrance mists because this one is available. I thought it wasn't, but it is. You guys let me know that it was available and I'm really happy because this is a fragrance mist that I really love. I got it a couple of years ago, but I first off, let's start off with the fragrance. This is Michelle Germain's Sugarful Sunshine. Beautiful, sexy, pineapple, juicy, musky, little mossy in the dry down really really nice again you guys a lot of you guys have gotten this fragrance and you have told me that you are obsessed with it that you are just wearing it non-stop i have also been doing the same with this one really perfect for summertime it smells like a piña colada in a bottle but with a little bit more depth to it it's not like just that i feel like the dry down is really really nice <sighs> so good and i have been pairing it with bath and body works coconut pineapple perfect perfect match you can get this fragrance mist right now at Bath & Body Works. The packaging is definitely not as cute as this one. I feel like this is just the perfect packaging with the coconut and the pineapple. It's perfect. This has shaved coconut, fresh pineapple, and sugar cane. These two are so perfect for each other. And then I don't, I already finished up the lotion for this one. I believe I don't have it. So I did add this Victoria's Secret cocoa vanilla body oil for this combination. And it just smelled so, so good. 
so these together smell really amazing as well for my next combo i had one of you guys ask me in the comment section what do you layer with volgari's omnia crystalline and that was such a good question because when i have worn this one i have kept my body care pretty simple i didn't really create like a layering combo for it but then you made me kind of go on like a what is a good layering combo for this one and i found one i don't know if this is available i think this one's available for the sale as well so i paired it with indigo dreams and these two go together match made in heaven as well i don't have any more left by the way i finished up this bottle i'm going to be filming a empties video of all of the fragrances that i finished up before moving because i do have quite a few bottles so this is one of the ones that i finished up and i definitely will be repurchasing in the future but these two together oh perfect this is like a sparkling woody clean fragrance and the notes for indigo dreams are bergamot water glowing amber and warm musk so they go together really really nice just like a clean scent if you don't want to smell like too fruity too floral too anything but you want to smell clean but not laundry clean i do not like laundry clean too much this is perfect to try next up i have replicas beach walk and i love this fragrance it's super summery beachy you can literally kind of smell like the sand the sun just the saltiness of being at the beach but i felt like i just wanted to add a little bit of like coconut to it and kind of soften it up a bit so i layered it with this this was a limited edition fragrance mist from pink and this is coconut ice but these went together so beautiful as well don't mind the little beach ball my daughter put a sticker on my lotion but these are really really nice because it just brings out the coconut in this fragrance and just makes it smell really beachy and summery and they went together so nicely oh that smells so good this one has notes of frosted coconut and sweet cream so these together were just so good it was like a creamy coconut warm beachy type of combination and i also paired coconut ice with coconut sun from the seven virtues and this was a beautiful combination as well this is like a refreshing creamy coconut scent perfect for these types of oh, so good for these types of fragrances so this went beautifully together as well this is a very thin airy refreshing coconut it's coconut water it's not really a coconut cream so it just it's so refreshing perfect for hot weather i definitely recommend you try this one for summer this year if you can get your nose on this one and layering these together was really really nice as well so that brings me to the end of my layering combos for the month of june i hope that you guys enjoyed it comment down below any layering combos that you guys enjoyed for the month of june i love to hear from you guys what you have been enjoying or if there are any combos here that you would like to try out which one did you like the most so that will be it give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video